P3-19. So there's, um, again, a couple of, there's always going to be a couple of approaches. I kind of see this uh, T-shape. And if we were to make that symmetrical about the, uh, the right plane, then it's just a matter of where I want to put the origin, either on the leading or trailing edge of the part. So let's, uh, let's fly that out. And it is a metric part. So I'm going to put that on the uh, the right plane. Open up the uh, the sketch center line, infinite length horizontal. Let's just get out of that. And make sure it went defined. Uh, let's hit the S on the keyboard this time, and we'll see the uh, the pop up. The one that I have the hardest time with is the uh, the donut. So there's my T shape. Let's go ahead and get some dimensions on it. I try to put the dimensions on. If I get this to go fully defined, then when it is uh, mirrored, it will pretty much stay fully defined. So I need to escape to get out of the, the radial diametral uh, dimension. 15, and actually the length uh, we could have left in there if I'd picked that one first. And then we also have the 40. Okay, so it picked up the 90. So I'm just going to escape back a couple of times, make sure that clears, but don't really need to get out of the, um, the dimension command. My selection is the green box right to left, so that it includes the center line to act as the mirror axis. And then we'll go to isometric to get a quick view before we extrude. All right, so this is a good one for mid-plane. And we'll be at 50. And go ahead and accept. All right, so for my radiuses then, thinking I want to do just uh, a couple at a time to be able to manage. So radius of 13. And that uses up quite a bit of our geometry. All right, just a little bit of a flat. And I kind of jumped ahead there. I was going to use the fillet. Um, 13 both sides, 13 four corners. Well, at that point, I only have the one left. It's still easier maybe than rotating and selecting the last one. So if I had uh, done two, I would have got, uh, would have got that. All right, and then the last one, radius of... Um, well, showing it as a, a radius, but it's not called out, and it's certainly not 13, so we'll leave it sharp. Maybe that's just a, a shadow line. All right, so since I jumped ahead and didn't include the through hole, I'm going to do the rollback. So the rollback is when we come down to this bar, find the little fingers gripping it, and drag. That will take us to a previous uh, state. It's kind of like suppressing the other two, but in the history, it says when this completes, this sketch and this feature will be in between where the rollback bar is. So we'll pick up the, uh, the circle. I'm going to look for that midpoint. We have a, a radius of 8, so that will end up being a diameter of 16. And we'll extrude cut through. And through all. And now when I complete the roll forward, I will end up with the complete shape. So I don't see a note or other geometry on that one. It's kind of, um, I guess, just the uh, the shadows that they put in on that uh, geometry. So we'll save this. Close enough. And call it good.